shuffle. I've already shuffled. And we'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with. How you see them and why it's all happening. So, Taurus. For the present time, we have the Page of Cups, and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now, this Page of Cups, it's showing in the picture that there's a need to play, dream, and to maybe have a little fun. This card can also mean that you've been taking yourself too serious. You've probably heard the saying that there's a difference between taking your work serious and taking yourself seriously. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So it's about knowing the difference. Now this page of cups is paired with the ten of wands. Now this card, you probably uh, will start to feel that you're carrying some type of burden. A heavy load because if you can see this picture this man he's walking forward but he's about to fall backwards so you might want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you can lighten your load either literally or figuratively and I say this because if you look carefully you may find that part of the burden that you're carrying it actually belongs to someone else so it's going to be important for you to pace yourself at this time and don't try to take on too much. So basically, for the present time, coming up for the first week of May, now the um, it could go into the end of April, all the way through May, but this is the first week of May reading. So we got this Page of Cups and a Ten of Wands. So there's some difficult situation or some difficulty that you're experiencing or you will be soon. And it's, it's just showing that you're going to have to remind yourself that there's, that you need to make time to um, laugh, have some fun and not take life or a situation so serious because um, like I said there's something that's going to make you feel like you're weighed down or something is a burden and so it's just saying to remind yourself to um, take hold of your inner child pull that pull that out remember to pull it out when this difficult situation comes about so that's for the present time now let's move on over and if you're dealing with someone let's take a look at how they see you now they view you as judgment and the judgment is with the empress so judgment is about jumping to conclusions decisions and judgments that are too hastily made so if you're prone to doing th such things, this is a sign that you need to slow down. Give more thought and give people more chances. So this could also be a time of spiritual awakening. Now judgment is paired with the empress. The empress, now this lady doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things and her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong. In any and all endeavors. Now this doesn't mean that she'll always get her way, but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. She can also signify coming abundance. Yeah, the Empress is about abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that's always financially, because there's many types of wealth and riches and money is only one of them but the empress is very powerful um, the empress can, can encompass all of them the 
your press is, is very deep and this is how your person sees you. They see you as a deep love. They've got deep love. Well, they see you having deep love for this connection. Or they see you wanting this connection to become sweeter and more truer, more more deep. So well, they see it becoming that way because the Empress is is already we'll put it this way if you're in a committed relationship and you get the the empress did i say emperor when you get the empress if you're in a committed relationship it often becomes sweeter deeper and more true so this is how your person sees you they see you as this empress but they also see you as jumping to conclusions. You jump to conclusions a lot. And it causes this connection to be at a make or break, period. Probably quite often. So they see you needing to um, offer redemption, offer forgiveness, more and they see this needed because your decisions are made too hastily. But they see you having a deep love for them in this connection as the Empress. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see your person as Three of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Three of Wands, you're likely to find that your money is going to be much better. In fact, it could feel like your ship has finally come in. And you're likely to be feeling really strong with a good reason. Now, you may finally start to experience some important success after you've been through some difficulty. Because this Three of Wands, it refers to work in an extremely positive way. Even if you work, I'm sorry, even if you don't work outside the home. It means that your efforts, they're being seen, appreciated, and are well, they're, they're well respected. Sorry, I was distracted by the, the noise outside, but I hope you understood me. The Three of Wands, it refers to work in an extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts are seen, appreciated, and well respected. So it's about giving yourself some credit. And this is how you see your person. You see them as wanting this connection to grow. They want to grow with you. They're looking ahead. And it's paired with the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups is beautiful. Very powerful, positive card in the tarot. Especially when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. Now, like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So, things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill more than usually at this time so you should be feeling really good about life in general and this is a great time to make friends and I guess you'll be doing that online these you know until we get this sauce straightened out with this temporary house arrest so once again your person you see them as wanting to grow with you expand and looking ahead that's how you see them and they bring teamwork or they want to do this with you 
And with this Ace of Cups, there's a deep attraction. Very deep. Ace of Cups, like I said, is very powerful. So you see them. Yeah. You see them as having a deep attraction for you. And they want to grow with you. Yeah. Now, also, just a little side note, this Ace of Cups. If you're already in a relationship, it can become uh, a deeper, deeper level of understanding or commitment. So, it can move to the next level. Marriage, engagement, for, you know, proposal, uh, babies. The next level up. So, this is really nice how they see you. They want to grow with you. Taurus and uh, the Empress is beautiful so they are very attracted to you so let's move on over let's take a look at why it's happening now we got this moon card in page of wands now the moon card is about feeling psychic intuitive it's important for you to trust your instincts Instincts and impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when you get this card in a reading, all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. It's about going with your gut instincts. If you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So... It's about trying to stay patient. So, why it's happening, it's, it, it looks like um, the moon card is about deception now. Yeah. So let's clarify this, because it's with the page of wands here. Now this page of wands, with this card, people are warm, ambitious, high achievers, if this is not a person, it indicates the energy of easy distraction. So it's about trying to stay focused. Um, something that if you started some things some time ago, it's it would start to come to life, start to come to fruition. It also shows a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. Uh, the page it brings a positive energy, but you have to supply the follow through. So, why it's happening, the moon card, if you feel like your person or you sometimes wear a mask, there's some deception with the moon card, and it could be that you feel like your person, is they don't say how they really feel. So, it's an emotional time, or it can cause a lot of emotional It can cause a lot of emotions in the connection. And feelings of mistrust with the moon card. Um, but it's with the page of wands, so there's a lot of passion there with this page of wands. And it's about trying to stay focused. But it's hard to do because someone feels like there's deception in this connection. Someone feels like well, the other might just be running circles around them with this page of wands. But there's passion there. There's passion. So let's go over this just to get a full understanding. So for the present time, there's some type of heavy burden that's coming up. Feels like a heavy load. You gotta be walking forward, but feeling like you're falling backwards. And you're just gonna have to remind yourself to, to relax, chill, and have fun. 
Now, your person sees you as jumping to a lot of conclusions and not giving enough chances and they see you as beautiful. They really, they like you with this Empress here, but they wish you'd stop jumping to so many conclusions or making decisions too hastily. And then you see them as, like I said, wanting to grow and expand with you and offer new beginnings with the Ace of Cups and Three of Wands. But someone feels like there's deception. The other person just, they can't really say how they feel, so it causes feelings of mistrust and... Um, but there's passion there with this page of wands but with this feelings of mistrust and deception uh, it makes someone feels like they're just going in circles or certain situations make make them feel like they're you know not getting any resolve so it causes somebody to jump to conclusions Looks like it's you, Taurus. You jump to conclusions because uh, looks like there's some mistrust there. So it probably causes this heavy burden. And you just have to remind yourself that you too probably need to just loosen up. Have some fun. You guys could be a little bit tense and uptight because of we're all on house arrest these days and on lockdown. So try to do some things that that are fun. Because it looks like you two could... Um, it looks like this reading is about... Since it's starting up with a heavy burden and you got the need to play, uh, you might want to just uh, loosen up. Try to think of some things that are fun. It's hard to do when you're on lockdown. But, uh, yeah. But the good thing is about your person, they, they're very attracted to you. They're drawn to you with this Empress showing up. And, uh, well, they see you that way. The energies are interchangeable, so if I say they see you, this could be you see them. And the time is fluid. May could go into June. So that's your reading, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Uh, that way I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. So Taurus, I thank you so much for watching. I hope 2020 is going well for you. I hope you join me for the next reading, which is in probably in about another five days, six days. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day, and hope to see you at the next reading.